feel like we do it the way that we do it so that we can afford to be in that luxury. I can slouch. I can lay on the couch and lay on my back and do whatever I want because I've trained myself to where my posture is. I know where to put it. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Right? So afford yourself the opportunity to be in bad posture when you want because most of the time you're in good posture. And you right. know what good posture is. Right. Okay. And if you think about it, like, you're like dead. So every time you are in bad posture, you're putting yourself in debt. Yeah. Just like every time you eat bad food, you're putting yourself in debt. Yeah. Right? So you have to keep yourself out of debt, whether that's your posture, your food, whatever it is. So people are so indebted to bad posture, and eventually that that's going to come due. Right. So then what do we do to get out of bad posture? Okay, so what I like to do specifically just for me to think about, um, at least that got me started into being focused on my posture, was uh, I would just supinate my arms. Right. So I take the arms through external rotation, I'm pushing my shoulders down at the same time, and wherever that puts it, on release, that's probably a good spot for me. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I also like to tell people, like, if someone's going to hit you in the gut, that's how your belly should be braced. I've also been told from people way smarter than me that keeping your core at a certain percentage, it should always be turned on. It should never be fully off, right? I don't ever want it to be fully on. So always keep ready, just ready, right? Supple effort. Yeah, Supple Kelly effort. Starrett, yeah. Yeah. So I supinate, I supinate, I push the shoulders down, my belly is already on. Uh, and then uh, that same person that said that about the percentages with the belly said that you should have a percentage of your butt on too. So if you do a little squeeze, feel the muscles turn on, and there you go, top to bottom. You just put yourself into, like you said, you go neutral, shoulders, belly, right? Yeah. Yeah. So squeeze the butt, the gut, right. shoulders back. And that's going to put you into a neutral position from top to bottom. So I really like that. I like that external rotator. Yeah. So turning on, always being turned on always being turned on. So does the percentage of on change based on what you're doing? Does that make sense? So well, when you're walking around, you know, maybe at 10%. I'm trying to walk around pretty much as in neutral as possible, right? Because sometimes I catch myself, I'll be looking down at the ground. Number one, the world is really pretty. Like why would you want to look down in the first place? But when we're doing that, we're just building that what would you call it that? Uh, you're putting yourself, you're putting yourself Leaning in the head, head right? upper cross syndrome. Yeah, I mean, you're just, Talk about that over time, that has a really bad effect, and I don't think people really realize how bad of an effect it is when you don't know where your body should be sitting at. So, so when walking around, you always want to be engaged, always. right? But let's say like in terms of especially your gut, your butt, when you perform a movement with something heavy, a heavy object, you're moving something for a friend, you're doing a deadlift, we engage those more, we engage those less. So if, if you're doing everyday life, I feel like the gym and training yourself is a whole different ball game. Everything needs to be perfect because if it's not, the minute it's not perfect is when you're going to have a catastrophic in injury, something happens. And Maybe it's not catastrophic, but you let it go, and over time that turns into something worse. And, and you know, in in the gym and training, you should be pristine. You should be perfect. Everything should be really clean. Especially if you're doing barbell stuff. There's just too much room for error. If you do something wrong, you're done. Done for a while. But when it comes to like, if you're out helping somebody move, I mean, you're gonna still need to know where that neutral is. But from that neutral, we're going into our external rotation, our squats, our hinges, wherever it's at. I start in neutral, right? Because I always am in neutral. So how does someone get better at posture? You just gotta be constantly aware of it. You always gotta have a little voice in your head telling you, hey, sit up, sit up. Right? You know, my parents used to say that to me all the time, I never really thought about it. And then also being a Marine, you get screamed at if you didn't, up. So, I mean, <laughs> so just uh, practice it. Practice. You just think about it. And there's nothing wrong with being aware of it. It's not, if anything, kudos to you. You're going to give yourself a lot of, a lot.
lot of them up. And in the long run, you know, if your posture is bad, that's gonna really affect. You see the people walking. I mean, they can't, they can't move. They can't lift their anything up. I mean, there's nothing there. And I just want to walk up to that person. Put yourself into a position because it's probably pretty dang painful. But that's what happens over time. You just let yourself get so out of neutral. You don't want to do that. So be proactive. So you're Always. not that bent over little old lady, little old man. Don't want to do that. Even if you're 50, 60 now, you know, there's still time. There's still a 100%. Yeah. You're 80. If you're there, if you're here, stand up. Yeah. Absolutely. It's never too late. Yeah. No, that's yeah. good. That's good, man. Well, you have great posture, Grace. Thank you. Been doing that uh, focus on posture. I don't even know how long. Probably like the last three years. Well, I don't think you think about it much anymore. I mean, I think you think about it intentionally, like when you're doing movement, but like when you're walking around, I, I think it's more now second nature to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I can feel it. And I do use my headrest all the yeah. time. I'm always pushing back yeah. into that. Yeah. And I Everybody's on their phone. Up. I'm guilty of it too. I head over text neck. And uh, you see people that, I mean, nowadays the main position that we're in is here. Wherever you're at, wherever you're doing, that's it. And it's that dang phone. It's the phone. It's just, you can't help it. It's going to be the death of us all. Thank you, Grayson.